Okay, so we're gonna start our video. Uh, ninja stealth training in China. This is where I currently live. Inside this, uh, it's kind of like a hotel. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna start by going through this little alleyway. Okay, now to the left we have a small street. If you make a right and you go straight up, it'll eventually lead to the main road. And if you can see here, you have some local villagers. They all sit out there. And then you walk up a little higher and to the straight ahead there'll be some more villagers sitting around. So let's say you want to go in a way where you don't have to see anybody. Okay, we're going to go a different way, route. First of all, Stay close to the building. Go down these stairs. Here we have a beautiful country mountain view. Okay. I'm going to go up this little path here. Which is going to lead to the farm area. Here, the way they farm is with their hands and tools. They don't have any tractor trailers or any kind of a big fancy equipment. So sometimes there's, you'll see one or two farmers out here. They don't bother you though. <coughs> okay. So here we have a big farm field, and I would be walking down that little road there. If I went the regular way, and you got to come across many people, so here, nobody, nobody sees you. <laughs> Going a little back route, but it gets way more interesting a little bit further up. <coughs> okay, over here we have uh, the mountains that look like two horns with a flat piece in the middle. That's Damo Dong. That's where martial arts was created origin of martial arts. Uh, wearing a black outfit with a mask and tabby shoes and sneaking around in the shadows. You just use a, uh, a hidden path and you can go un undetected pretty easily if that's available to you of course. Okay so here's where things get interesting. Okay so to avoid going through the, the neighborhood you can find a little path like this. Okay, here we have a little cliff's edge. So of course, it's important to have balance. These are some farm fields over here. And you almost, I don't know exactly what time these people do their farming, but usually you don't see them in the daytime. So they must come here really, really early in the morning. Sometimes they're out in the daytime, but barely ever. So, so far, I've come across no people. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna go through this area, which has a little path, so people have done this before but I don't think they do it often. Okay, again, you got some dangers here. You got some, some of these very uh, prickly, prickly plants here, which can stick you like thorns. And you don't want to fall off the side. You won't die, but it won't be fun.
navigate through these sticks and such. Oh, it's wet, slippery. This mud here is very, very slippery. Almost took a spill there. Okay, here we got some more. These prickly leaves right at face level. That could do some damage. Okay, so we got past that part. Here we have some caves. Obviously, if you had a hide, you could run and hide in one of those. This is a tomb, someone's grave. More caves. The floor is really wet today, it's very, very slippery. More caves. Another tomb. Okay, now we're we're, we're approaching the uh, the final little path that leads to the main road, where you again become visible to the public. So that's straight up this little path here, and then at the top is the main road. Now, you really want a ninja night training mission, do this at night time, like I did last night. I came from, from this way, going back the way we just came. Total darkness. You, as you can imagine, there's no street lights here. This is country. Uh, and my cell phone is broken, so I had no outside, outside help. Just the moonlight, my senses, my mind, and my body, and navigated through this path. Very interesting and very good training. Okay, so let's finish. Come up this path. <clears throat> so, you know, all the ninja stealth stuff you learn in the dojo, wearing the, the black pajamas and the tabbies and throwing rubber ninja stars at you. Well, you know, you gotta put that stuff to, to use in real life if you really wanna, wanna gain some real usable skills. That's just my opinion. Uh, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to live in this area right now where I have access to to nature and such a path so I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful for that but uh, it was pretty scary doing this last night to be honest couldn't see anything and some of those paths are very narrow and uh, I, I've only done this path you know, once or twice before so I don't remember exactly where everything is it was a great experience by the time I finally got back to my house my heart was pumping like I just had a fist fight <clears throat> okay, now here we are at the main road, and then you have a little side path, and you could also walk on the street, as you can see. Shaolin Temple, straight down that road, about five minutes in a car, about a 20-25 minute walk on foot.